Okay. Here to talk about Halo Season 1. I was put a marker to see where I left off. So, basically, um, it's actually a pretty good show. Although, um, I gotta say, this kind of, they put a lot more into this compared to other TV shows based off of a video game and stuff because the backgrounds don't look really fake like everything else does. Although I think it's enough is enough with Halo though, but this is a lot different than the video game. They do have, um, in some of the shooting scenes, there was first person shooter, whatever it's called, like the video game. So, um... I guess I had to reference something to the video game and the actual TV show itself. But um, I'm going to give you some ratings. You want to know about the ratings of Halo. Now this is a show that came on 2022. Wow, no wonder why season 2 came out so far. Oh, whatever. Okay, with Galaxy on the brink of destruction, Master Chief John 117 leads his team of spawns against the alien threat known as the Covenant. <laughs> I can stop playing Halo for my Xbox because I this is like the only system I really have left that's worth playing. I'm not very fond of my PlayStation anymore. Um, this got a 7.3 out of 10, 96,000 ratings. I thought it would have more since more people were into Halo. I guess not. Um, but let's see. Episode guide. I watched the first two episodes of season one. In the, year, in the contact, in the year 2552, humans on the planet Madrigal fight for independence from Earth. But a fatal encounter with the alien covenant complicates things. Master Chief John 117, I'll say 117, that sounds better. And his super soldier spines join the fight. 7.7 7 out of 10, 9.2 thousand ratings. Good amount of ratings. I said it was okay. It wasn't excellent, but it was okay. The next one was Unbound. They're kind of a weak way to leave off after a, a pilot episode. John takes Quan to an old friend and learns more about the mystery object with the Covenant and the McKee, uh, sounds like Star Trek, McKee, but it's spelled differently, there's no Q in it, it's M-A-K-E-E, -E, are determined to steal. With the alien threat growing, Dr. Halsey has planned to deal with uh, John's unpredictable behavior. Seven point zero out of ten six point five thousand ratings as you can notice there was a big dip in ratings after that and then it just keeps going down every episode to the season almost so basically what I'm going to tell you is is that this is a pretty good show but it's something that's on Paramount Plus so you were lucky you even got, received a 4k release for this a lot of people don't understand what it's like to get releases for TV shows like this, like you're very lucky. Um, the season two got a release too, but most of the shows that go on something like Paramount will never see a release in any day or any day because it's just they're not, they're not gonna make any money off of it. So I would grab this while you still can. The steel book is still buyable on season one. You can, I bought it off a of Target, it was the only website I could find it. Um, you probably can buy it off of eBay too, but you probably pay more money. Um, season 2 you can pre-order. It comes out the end of this month, although when I pre-order it, it's telling me it's going to give it to me in December. It must be some glitch. It always changes at the last second. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.